Hello, this is Mr. Martin. Uh, in this video, we are going to uh, continue with our similarity unit. We're uh, talking about similar polygons, scale factor, similarity statements, and uh, in this uh, third video of day two, we're going to talk about how to solve for missing measurements using our scale factor. So let's go ahead and get started with uh, number four. And uh, the problems that we don't finish in this video uh, will be your assignment. Um, so make sure you get help when you need it. Uh, so for number four, it says, if the figures below are similar with a scale factor of two-thirds, find the value of x. So I know that my scale factor is two-thirds, so I'm going to write that as a fraction. And if they don't specify, just assume that it, it's a scale factor of the figure on the left to the figure on the right. And that would make sense because... This figure looks smaller than the figure on the right with the x in it, so the 2 would seem to uh, make sense that it would correspond with the smaller figure. All right, so what this means is any pair of sides that I would pick in these two quadrilaterals, if I make a fraction out of those two sides, the ones that match, and I reduce it, it would have to reduce down to 2 thirds. So that's what our scale factor means. So that means that if the 2 corresponds to the small one and the, X, and the 3 corresponds to the big one, I can write 42 over x as a ratio of a pair of corresponding sides. And I know that that's going to have to reduce down to 2 thirds. So then I just need to solve this. So I'm going to cross multiply and I get 2 times x is equal to 126. I'll divide both sides by 2. And I get x is equal to 63. All right. So what that means is that 42 over 63, if I reduce this, reduce, we should get 2 thirds. Okay, so you, you can always check if you want. Just write your uh, new ratio and then reduce it and see if you get your scale factor. All right, so you'll go ahead and do number five. You can pause now or go back to that after the video is over. All right, number six, we have triangle ABC is similar to triangle DEF. Find the value of X. So what I like to do in these problems is first mark my corresponding angle. So I've got A in the first spot and D in the first spot so that I know that A and D are going to match up because these triangles aren't oriented in the same way. So I want to make sure I match up the right parts. And then B is in the middle in the statement and E is in the middle in the statement. So they have to correspond. So B and E and then our last set then would be C and F. Those are in fact in the last spots. So I've got two sides here and I've got two sides here, so I have to match up those sides. So the side between the yellow and the blue is 25 over here. I'm going to go ahead and uh, circle that. So it's in between the yellow and the blue, and this one's in between the yellow and the blue. All right, let's pick one more color here for this. All right, and then the 20 is in between the green and the orange, so that's got to go with the 28, which is between the green and the orange. All right, so you'll notice here that even though this triangle on the left is bigger than the triangle on the right, this side is 20 and this side is 28, so these triangles are not drawn to scale. So keep that in mind. Sometimes the triangles won't be drawn to scale. So now that I have everything color-coded, I can make a ratio of the sides. So let's start with the sides that have measurements. So 20 over 28, so I'm going left triangle, right triangle. So make, we're going to make sure we do all our ratios that way. So 20, 20 over 28. And we don't need to reduce this, but I'm going to reduce it because it'll make my number smaller. So I'm going to divide by 4. So that's going to be 5 over 7, and this is going to be my scale factor. Okay, 
So I know that 5 over 7, so that's left triangle over right triangle. Let's go back to left. Let's do the purple. So that's going to be 25 over x. All right. So again, we could have used 20 over 28. We just get larger numbers. If you have a calculator, it's not really a problem. So then we'll go ahead and solve this. So we've got 5 times x, and 25 times 7, uh, let's see, so 8 quarters would be 200, so that's 175, divide both sides by 5, and I get that x is going to be 30, so that's 15 with 2 left over, 35. Alright, so... Color coding is really going to help you to keep things from getting messed up. All right, so you're going to go ahead and uh, finish up uh, the rest of the problems on, these page, on this page. Uh, and then make sure you get help or check in um, if you want to check your answers as you go. And uh, we will see you in the next video.